uh, last lab, lab 12, protection and security. In this lab, we are going to practice protection security programming in Windows API and C Sharp. There are three uh, major algorithms. The first one is uh, digital signature signing and verification. The second one is uh, cryptographic hash generation and verification. The last one is uh, AES cipher encryption and description. All these three algorithms templates are provided. So it's a simple app. You just follow the comments in the source file, compile it and run it. Try uh, three times, then you're done. The major part is the of the real questions. You are required to write a concise summary of each of the following questions, and the source are specified. You may use the textbook ninth edition, or it's a tenth edition. It's up to you to uh, write a concise summary. For example, the first one, write a concise summary about the key time-tested guiding principle of protection. That is the uh, principle of uh, least privilege. Right? So you just go to, for if you use this ninth edition, you just go to section 12.2 principle of protection at this page. So it's only two pages. Go there, read it, and then write a concise uh, summary. Totally, we have nine uh, reading and writing questions, and uh, all the most of the questions in the final exam, those true false questions, multiple choice questions, they are from these uh, review questions. So this can be used as a preparation for your final exam. And for these three algorithms, here we just learn how to use it and have a feeling to see what they looks like and how they are implemented in C Sharp and Windows API. And you will learn them systematically in IDS 350. In IDS 350 cryptography, we will learn all these things in detail. Here, this course, we just have a look to see how the operating system and so the program language libraries, how they implement these algorithms. First, I would like to uh, create a folder to hold today's stuff. Yes, reset it. Create a new folder. And a quiet lab tail. Now for the first task. Practice digital signature signing and verification programming in Windows API with this template. I would like to open all these templates. Here you can see uh, this template. For a quick uh, download, we use uh, git to download them quickly. Right? You open a command prompt. Op with git, we just right click, open this uh, git bash here, then type git. You have done this many times. For those students who already downloaded, you just use uh, git push pull, git clone, If you want to have it, you just go to the place, you save it, type git pull, uh, type git pull, 
Yeah, my I just downloaded so everything's up to date. Now inside this uh, folder, I have this ID, this research, everything on GitHub or downloaded here. So I go to the labs, the last lab, code, copy these two folders, Ctrl C, go to the folder I just created today, lab 2. So please uh, pay attention where you save it. Paste here. Right. Here it is. Now, uh, in order to compare it, we use that uh, Visual Studio command prompt. Visual Studio develop command prompt. Here it is. We need to go to the folder we just created Ctrl C CD to this place, use the DLR you see there are two folders the CS, C Shop and the Win folders first let's go to the Win folders DLR, you see there is a sign verify dot CNAS dot CPP here it is, sign verify.cas.cpp From the comment, you see the reference is from here. You can open it, have a look, read it, because I use this uh, reference to write the description about this program. Uh, this program is a sample program. For, uh, ECDSA 256 signing using CNG. Example for use is bcrypt encrypt API. So we just uh, go inside this reference to have a look to see what they are. How to compare one? Is a compare we used many times. Now this program can be used to sign and verify messages. So in your practice and report, you need to s try at least three messages. For example, sign wide file message to be signed. This is how to use it. Example, sign wide file. It is 330. It's really interesting. So you can uh, try three examples. Here is uh, the program. You can go through to have a look about those uh, APIs and how the APIs are used to complete to achieve the digital signing and the verification so they are intuitive you can read those uh, double print and uh, comments that is a program now let's uh, run it have a look then we have a uh, intuitive uh, feeling. We use the compiler sign verify.c. Here you see lots of warnings. Right? Lots of warnings. It's fine. Just disregard these warnings. And we have an exe file generated. Now how do we run it? Run it like this. Sign verify.exe followed by a message. Please pay attention to this message. We need a single quote, double quote to quote them. ITS 330 is uh, really interesting. Do you agree with this? Now you see the output and the steps to see how to sign it. Open a hash algorithm handle, open a signing algorithm handle, and so on. Here is a message. We are going to hash it. And the generated hash, see what it looks like. It's okay, you don't understand this stuff. Right? And we will learn them systematically in IDS 350. Here you just have a try to play with it. 
and you can see uh, the signature first we generate a hash of that message then we uh, sign that hash so the signature on the hash is this the one hexadecimal numbers and the public key used to verify the signature we know you use your private key to sign a message and uh, anyone else use your public key to verify your signature so there's a public key and you can see I succeeded in signature verification so you should try other two messages for example uh, spring is coming is coming and uh, the semester is going to be complete right just type any message you want try three of them okay now the second one is this AAS CVP is a popular cipher AAS cipher we can use it to do encryption decryption okay now let's uh, have a look here see this AAS dot CPP right? so we compare it and run it see here in the comment how do you compare it and how to run it try at least uh, three messages is the usage so it's similar to that uh, signal signing and verification so we use a compiler use a compiler to compile this as.cpp now you see that is an as.exe is generated so as.exe you can say spring is amazing and you can see uh, the steps here this spring is amazing it's encoded with uh, UTF-16 little engine so there is a message in this encoding in Unicode UTF-16L this uh, internal text encoding used in Microsoft Windows here are the steps you can go through these steps to see how it worked and uh, you will learn all the details in IDS 350 so if you don't understand it's fine um, encryption summary here we see the plain text is a message we input then we get the cipher text here you see the cipher text is quite different from the print text some most of these sim symbols they are not printable so I didn't print out if you print out you will see lots of uh, unprintable symbols now we with this uh, self text we're going to decrypt it right? here decryption summary is a self text decrypt we get the plain text and you compare this plain text with the plain text uh, we entered see the identical and I verified the program automatically it's a matched equation decryption succeeded so you are going to try another two uh, messages just choose any message to have a look Uh, this is about uh, encryption description the previous one is about a uh, signature signing and verification the last one is about uh, integrity using hash code all these programs can find their explanation from the reference in the comments here how to compare it and how to run it so we provide a data file name data file name run this uh, program it will generate a hash code of that uh, file you provided this is written in C sharp is uh, referred from these uh, references reference so you can 
go there and have a look about the explanation. Now let's uh, go to the CS folder. You see this uh, HMAC shell two five six dot CS. So we use CSC, the C sharp compiler to compile this uh, this file. Okay, uh, there are you see a uh, executable file is generated. Now we run it first. We run it uh, without uh, any parameters. Here we got this output. It will generate some uh, data automatically for you. Here you see no data file provided. So one will be generated for you. And the content in the generate text file is this one. Is here is a mass uh, is it didn't print out the hash file. Oh, this data dot text is a uh, data dot text dot show, and the contents you can see it here. This is a key for the HMAC show two five six. All these things you will learn it, learn the details in uh, IDS three five D. Here you see the hash code for this data dot txt. Is a hash code. Then verify the hash code against this uh, data file, and you see uh, the hash value agrees or the matches. We use a hash code to detect whether the file is uh, tampered or not. Here, you no know, tampering uh, occurred. We use the DIR. You see a data file is generated for you, and the hash code is saved in this data file. You can have a look to see what's inside that data file. That data file is just a, a sentence. Two dot here is a message to sign in that data file. If you want to print out this, uh, print out this uh, hash code, sure. You see it's unreadable. Uh, unreadable. Right now, you can provide a file to find its hash code. You can use any file. For example, we just use this exe file or use this, this source code. So here, let's use its uh, source code. Hash value agreed and no uh, time occurred. You can find it from this uh, place here. The file to be digested is this uh, HMAC short to file 6, the source code. Now we, we use this file to save the hash. Here is the key used to generate the, the HMAC short to file 6. Here is the hash code. Then we verify whether the, the hash code of the file. Here we compute it again because we didn't modify it. Right? So the hash value agree and no template occurred. Now, if you check the, the hash code we saved here in this file, you can type it out. Dot show. This is a uh, here. This is a source code. Right? Here's the source code. So this file we saved here. Do you see the hash code is here with a semicolon with a colon. Here, all this part is uh, belongs to the hash code HMAC two five six. Now, this part is the source code. They are put together. So, from here is the source code. You can have a look from where right? here. That part is a source code. So this part 
is a hash code. And in LS350, we will separate all this stuff and modify the data, then modify the hash code again. You will see uh, how it can be used to uh, modify the integrity of the data of the file you are going to uh, protect. Here you just uh, have a feeling about the program, how the function are used. The hash curve, hash function or hash algorithm they are implemented in this uh, .NET class, system.security.cryptography. And when you go down, you can see uh, the function we used to generate the hash code. We need a key, hash file. We have function hash file. In this function hash file, we want to hash a file. So we create a hash file. We supply a key, a source file, and a destination file to save the hash code together with the, the source file. So then you can separate them. Right. Here you see uh, we use this one, HMAC 256. This is provided by the C -shop .net library. This HMAC, you use it uh, to do the hash, let's see where we use it here. Compute the hash code of the input file. So we just go through this uh, code. They are quite intuitive. So you can uh, check the online reference to get a further explanation. Okay, these are the tasks. It's uh, quite uh, simple and quite easy. Right. Here I want to uh, check here. You see this uh, data.txt show. It also contains the hash code and this data.txt. In the source code you can see how we save it when we compare that uh, compute the hash. Get this uh, computed hash. Right? Then we save that uh, computed hash. Here we have a look where we, s we save it. This uh, we show the hash code. Here we com compare the com computed hash with the stored value. So this is a white file file. In this uh, hash file, we compute the hash, get this hash value and share the hash value, then how do we save it here? We save the hash value, right? Save it there. Copy the contents of the source file to the destination file. After we sh save the hash value, then we also save the contents of the source file to the destination file. If you comment out this part, then in the destination file we only save the hash code. Here currently we have both. For example, this one we have 62 bytes. The data file is uh, 30 bytes, which means the hash code is uh, 32 bytes. 32 bytes is 256 bits. 256 divided by 8, you get 32, right? And you will learn all these uh, details in LS 350, so don't worry about that. Here, I will type the data.txt.show. But here we have something uh, mystery. You type this uh, data.txt. Here is a message to sign. Now you see this. 
dimensions are um, they are not printable. We, we, we didn't see it. But the, the problem is why we didn't see this sentence in this uh, file. We copied it into this file, right? but we didn't see it here. So this is uh, about the, the encoding. It looks like the encoding cannot be decoded correctly by this terminal. If we use a hex uh, editor, we should be able to see it clearly. For example, I can use hxd to check it here. I'm going to open that file. Street 30, lab 12. And this is a win. It's in that uh, C, C sharp. Yeah, this is a data.txt.shell. Here, did you see it clearly? You see this one? Here is a message to sign. Now, you check here. This part until this uh, exclamation mark and this n, exclamation mark and n. Then we 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 didn't see other stuff. So what's the reason? Then here you see this one is not printed out. Here when you check this, as we see, we just stop at this n, uh, at this n. In that part, so which means from this part, this uh, Windows terminal cannot decode it correctly. So all these things we didn't see it show up here. There are lots of bugs with the uh, Windows terminal. So to get the correct answer, we need the hex editor to see the result. You don't need to show it, uh, it's optional. And uh, you will learn all this in detail systematically in IDS 350.